Hello coders and welcome to another How to Code Well tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at the array key last function in PHP. Last time I did the array key first and this is pretty much the opposite of that. This is going to get the last key in our array. We're also going to be dealing with the fact that the array could be empty. So let's go into the code and take a look. Now what I've done is I've copied the code that we used in the array key first tutorial and I'll put a link to that tutorial in the description below. What we want to do is change array key first to array key last. So let's just change this from first to last like so. We're also going to do that down here as well. So array key last. So what do you think is going to happen? The first key would be this one here. So that has returned zero, but now we're getting the last key. Now the last key in this indexed array is one. Remember that keys start from zero. So that would be zero. And then that is going to be one. In an associative array, however, the last key is going to be the last key, which is an associative key which is a string. And in this case, it's going to be a last name. So let's go and save this and go into the browser. So what we have here is the output of array underscore key underscore last dot PHP. In all of these tutorials, I'm going to link to the GitHub repository so you can run this code yourself. So the difference between this file and array key first is the fact that we're using the last keys within the arrays. In this case, the first array has the last key of one and the final array of the names associative array has the key of last name. That's the last key within that array. As I mentioned at the start of this video, we're going to take a look and see how the result changes if we have an empty array. So let's go back to the code. What I'm going to do is copy all of this and paste it down here. We're going to change this variable to be test and we're going to remove all of the elements of the array. So this is just an empty array. Now we're going to change that from names a sock to test, and we're going to change key a sock to test key. Okay, so now we have an empty array and we want to get the last key from this array. What do you think is going to happen? Well, there isn't a last key, there isn't a first key, so we return null. Let's go and see if that is the case. Save your work, go back to the browser and refresh the page. And there we have it. This is the third array that we've created and we're trying to pull the last key from that array, but the array is empty and therefore null is returned. If you found this video tutorial helpful, then please do let me know. Give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on other courses and tutorials that I do. If you've got any coding questions, then please do feel free to ask, but ask on our Discord server. Go to howtocodewell.net forward slash Discord to join our Discord How to Code Well community. Also, whilst you're there, go and check out the other courses and tutorials that we have. Thank you ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everybody, and I will see you in the next tutorial.